And then it was revealed in court today that the moments leading up to and immediately following the shooting were all caught on surveillance video. Sarika Amato and Antonio De Jesus arraigned in Brockton District Court on charges related to the deadly shooting that killed 27 year old Cedric Abreu. Please not guilty, Prosecutors say surveillance video from the shooting scene on Hoover Avenue shows Amato give suspect Jeremiah Abreu a gun. At that time uh, is when officers believe that Mr. Abreu shot and killed his brother. When Abreu exits the home. Video surveillance also shows that when Mr. Abreu um, exited the residence, it appears that he gave the firearm to Mr. De Jesus. They say De Jesus is then seen placing an item in the back of an SUV. Attorneys for both defendants say the video doesn't paint a clear picture of what happened and the gun was never recovered. And the government's case rests and falls on the video. The officers pursue my client who's been released um, and after remaining on scene for over an hour, he tells me, um, stop the car and they don't locate any gun in the car. Police are still searching for the alleged shooter, 20 year old Jeremiah Abreu. Officials say he and Amato are brothers to the victim. Family and friends are now having to mourn. Yeah, I know a majority of his family, um, and I can't even begin to speak on how they feel, how we all feel. And like I said, I've been friends with him since I was a child, so it's truly heartbreaking. The two defendants who were arraigned today are being held without bail until their dangerousness hearing, which is scheduled for this Thursday. We're live in Brockton, Danae Bucci, WCVB News Center 5.